Hey guys, Tech Cameron Taylor from TechCameron.com here. Now today's video is going to be on light peak connectors. Now light peak connectors look very much like USB ports such as this one. They can look very much like this because they are, ba they are based on hybrid USB connectors. And, uh, and this could connect the iPad 2 rumors with the sense of the mysterious port on the iPad 2 cases. Now putting this on the iPad 2 doesn't seem like a very much reasonable thing to do since not many devices are using Lightpeak at the moment. I don't think any of them are. But uh, it could be a good way to get those uh, accessories to start picking up Lightpeak. And uh, and uh, and the uh, light peak is is uh, is probably why Apple has not p uh, picked up USB three yet. Now USB three is supposed to be uh, about ten times faster, I think, than USB two point oh. But then, but light peak is a uh, ton faster. It's a uh, it offers up to ten gigabytes per second. I mean gigabits and there's a thousand difference between the two anyways made by Intel this was originally used for, this originally used fiber optic technology in between inside here it originally used fiber optic technology but but later switched over to tra traditional copper for compatibility reasons and even with the switch, they offer 10 gigabits per second. Now everyone knows that Verizon uses fiber optic technology, which is usually why their speed is so fast. Which is um, which means that if a light peak used used fiber optic, it could be more than like a ton faster. Now the name Light Peak is not really attractive, so if Apple was to use this, they will most likely rename it to a much more attractive term in the sense of the naming. Since, in case you haven't noticed, Apple renamed FireWire from IEE1394, I think, to FireWire, which is much more attractive. Now Light Peak, I really don't know if they're going to rename it, but they're probably going to rename it into a much more attractive term. Light Peak really doesn't seem like attractive. However, now that Light Peak is known to everyone, they might just stick with it. Who knows? This could be part of the Apple event, supposedly on February 24th, with the updated MacBook Pros. This is very much likely to be part of Light. So, anyways, today's video was just the Light Peak connectors and how. They could pretty much replace USB ports because USB ports are really a lot slower now, and I think Intel realized that. So, so now they're thinking that because Intel is actually the one that that made the light peak connectors, and uh, if Apple is first to use this, they will stick it in pretty much every product they have, and which means there will also be mini USB. Mini light peak, uh, micro light peak, all of light junk, and so so there's many micro uh, lows to connect between accessories to your computer, and because this is so much faster, it can replace USB permanently. And with, with this replacement comes much faster speeds. I mean, right now, think about it. You, if it's over USB, at best, you can probably transfer 10 gigabytes of files in 10 minutes. With this, it, it could actually take one minute. Uh, from from what I think, I really don't know. Maybe less than a minute transfer 10 gigabytes. Think about it. So, uh, and the... Uh, this test is from my MacBook, and I really haven't tested Light Peak because if I was able to get my hands on it, I'd probably be one of the richest people on Earth, which obviously I'm not. So, so anyways, this was.
Tech Cameron 1011 and uh, let's just overview of light peak connectors and how it's possible they can replace USB permanently and see you in tomorrow's video